Oh, oh, oh. Up, up. Good, good. We've got Captain Matthew. Yep. So this time we have the tide with us and the close reach down harbour. One new chair from Santa. Well, which one are you going to like, puppy? Because there's another new chair from Santa. And the old ones are rusting and falling apart. You will be needing this, so let's just make sure it's charged. like it is but never mind Uh, we're in the lee of Mount Albury at the moment, so the wind's died down, but good outgoing tide with us, so progress is not a problem. Uh, there's Matuku, one of our coastal carriers. We'll uh, have the wind back in about 50 metres. Just about there. Here's the wind again. Well, Sasha has taken my chair. Obviously it meets with her approval. Back up to speed. So do you like the new chair, puppy? I'm sure you can lie down with it. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, here's uh, Mayor Bank, which hopefully Matthew will manage to avoid. It was easier to tack up this side of the sandbank in here and then run or reach across. Sasha likes this one even better I think. Urquhart's Bay, uh, follow the road over there you get to Ocean Beach eventually. Now it's a reach down to Tarakura which is at the base of Mount Manaya. Well, yeah, wind's a bit fluky. Down. If you don't get it first 
Thursday. So I can't actually remake it completely until I get the halyard down from up at its exit box, almost at the top of the mast, which we'll do tomorrow, but we can prepare the way. Walk and next stop the pedal down. They've just got to time this perfectly. You can see the top mark there just to go. What do you want me to do? 20 seconds. Top of the screen. What do you want me to do? Come on. the chaos on board. 10 seconds now. says go and they're away, Law Connect, top of the screen, next to them is Blackjack, then Scallywag's got a very good start, here's Law Connect, look at that massive sail, absolutely powering down the harbour now, they'll be 18 to 20 knots of boat speed, what a sight, there's the four start lines, what a magnificent sight, one of the great sights in Australian sport, probably 15 to 18 knots, and Scallywag's just got his nose in front already, but look at this boat, they're off now, 18, 20 knots of boat speed. Well, that is good speed down the harbour too. Dude, just calm down, we fucking get below. So what it means now with these big boats, Mark, the big thing is they've got to roll these rigid sails, code zero sails up. This is manly as to what they're heading towards, and then they'll make the first right turn. Okay, from right to left, Scallywag. Blackjack, Law yeah, Connect, okay. and Stefan. They're passing Middlehead now. That's Belmoral Beach just above them. Here's the first turning mark. This is going to be very neat. And now the furl is beginning on Scallywag. You can see that big headsaw. It doesn't matter. Reaching sail being furled up. And there's the little jib that is now exposed. And that's what they'll go to win with. Rick. So David Whip wins the honours to the heads. Five minutes to the No record of them. He wouldn't worry about that. Okay, you've got a boundary coming up, Sebi. Copy that. Okay, and they'll tilt the boat slightly to win with the candy keel so that the big furling sail can fall down on the deck. You can see Blackjack coming in, tilting the boat to windward. Okay. Ooh. They've got to try and get that furling sail to windward of the jib. There's a crew trying to race up. They haven't furled properly on Blackjack. You can see that headset still unfurled. A little bit of trouble. Okay. Here the next group to the uh, next turn hey, mark, hey, headed hey, by hey, Stefan hey, Racing. Hey, Let's get down to Jimmy Spittle. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, guys. Moving into a work very nicely. They'll be very happy with this. You can see the bumpy scallywag. They have yeah, so the jibs day. attached to an inner force day. They've got the main force day right out of the bow, but then the jib was set off an inner force day. You can see that that has disappeared now. Has it just. Uh, dead dog. No, no, the eyes are open and moving. Right, what's under here? Right, this is where the life jackets are kept. And we should find the bosun's chair. 
Oh, there it is. That was underneath Sasha's life jacket. So with both of them I've uh, packed it out around the hose clips, put stainless steel uh, clips on again and covered it with self amalgamating tape. So this is plan B, it should work. Yeah, the new chairs have definitely got Sasha's seal of approval. So we have the torque rope up, Jenica attached, uh, but no sheet on yet. And we're now going to attach some sheets. We're making use of the gentle southerly we've got at the moment to get this sorted. Well, success. We're on a dead run at the moment, no main up. Now I've got a snatch block on the roll bar. Oh, 
say it would be nice to undo the, the further and then we lower it down into the... No, that, well, this way it's still under control. Yeah. Keep a little bit of tension on it, right? Yeah. Well, usually, especially probably in the light condition. condition. Okay, we'll call that a success. Yeah. We're coming into smugglers uh, to Ancap. That's Busby Head over there. A few swallows coming past. And this is Smuggler's Cove or Smuggler's Bay. Still a few boot of car we're up. It's me, Matthew. You sound like an earthquake moving that chair around. Yeah. There's quite a bit of green in here. Might have a go at that. Oh, that looks a bit better. And that this side as well. Oh, that is perfect. And do a repair on the chair. But we've figured out how it goes together. That's great. Enjoy your night. Good radio. Bye bye, thank you. 